YouTube, what's going on? All right, we about to go take off and do a quick drive in my GTI. I'm driving the M2 yet. Gotta wait to register that thing. So, but you know, who doesn't like going for a drive in any POV drive? parking lot with all these speed bumps oh that's a nice EP3 not sure if y'all saw that when I drove by. But, uh, it was nice, clean. No crazy body kits or anything, just nice lip kit. sunny out here which is beautiful can't beat it that's the forge blower valve y'all didn't hear that in the other video and those y'all new tuning in like this every morning at around 6 which is good because I usually go to Schofield around let's see I get there around 5 5 30 still dark so get a little snooze in before PT or if I'm motivated and nine times out of ten I am I'll go to the gym get a quick workout in before actual PT because you know PT nowadays is more geared towards the ACFT where you're doing planks you're doing you know your three mile four mile normal runs or you're doing like deadlifts and stuff and the T push-ups anyways I didn't make this video to talk about PT so one thing y'all will notice now that you're not actually watching me steer and you're just looking at the road is that the roads in Hawaii they need a lot of love. When I say that, I mean the potholes and just how the roads are not maintained. But other than that, the if you can get past that, the area is beautiful. You got all different parts of the island too plan was to wake up earlier and go around the island but that uh, <laughs> that didn't happen so here we are but 
on the left and right you can see these are plantation homes very old but very historical separate video on congratulating or giving people a thumbs up not congratulate excuse me I'll be making a video on giving props to those who have subscribed to my channel right I finally have reached 1,000 subs and that's coming from a long way I've had YouTube since 2011 but I wasn't active on it it was just upload a few videos and that was it I got active on it 2019 and it's been coming up since so I want to thank you all for that but I'm not going to full blown go out there I just want to say thanks for now because the right lane merges. It's like you know, you know, every state has their their local stores. So City Mills, the one. 
one from Hawaii. I haven't seen another one anywhere else. Okay, all the pumps open, buddy. Let's go. Is he strategically picking where he went? Time to pump. Be right back. Just pull it up. Right here is what the gas looks like. Good old Hawaii. Not too bad. Our damage not too bad. 48 bucks, 34 cents. Let's get rolling. in front of me. pretty straight to me try to tilt it just to you know see if it was quicker or not all right so where are we driving today well there is a cars and coffee that I'm headed to right now so I'm going to check that out I'm a little I guess you could say late because it does start at Nine and ends at eleven. So I guess I'll end this lane. say driving the GTI is fun it's been a great daily now if you want to just use this as a weekend car it's just good as well but for a everyday car this is perfect it's compact it's you know zippy if you want to get on it and it's decent on gas especially with the gas prices today Do I miss driving my M2? I sure do, but getting it registered is going to be one story, so when that time comes, I will make a video for that. But 
other than that, when I do register it, you will be seeing more POV videos of that and pictures of it as well. The, there are so many places that you can take pictures at out here. It's just crazy. And you can get it at industrial areas, the beach, etc. I thought my man's had big gulp on him or a, a slurpee, but uh, I can't see him here. But that sure is not a big gulp or a slurpee. I did know how to drive golf, but <laughs> mess that all up. I wish I did know how to golf, but I don't. I tried going with my uncle when I was younger. He would take me, and uh, that was a fail. I ended up driving the golf cart that he let me caddy him around in into a ditch. Oh man, he was. Uh, <laughs> let's just say he wasn't a happy camper. But uh, as soon as we pulled the, the golf cart out of the ditch, he let me drive right back after he calmed down. So, yeah, that's my golfing story. And this wasn't just the first time. I mean, it was the first time going in the ditch, but it wasn't the first time as far as going golfing. Now, if I went in the ditch multiple times, I don't need to be in a golf cart or be in anything. So, but that was... Uh, <laughs> that was pretty interesting. Now we're going into the town of Waipahu. Lots of good restaurants out here and a couple car dealerships. I didn't want to juice it, but in order to merge, you kind of got to do that. Okay, so this little this little bridge thing y'all see right here, this is the Honolulu Rail Transit System, aka the monorail. Before this wasn't here in 2008, and then also 13 to 16, uh, those were the times I was here. Um, 
this started development around I think 15 16 maybe but it didn't these were just the pillars were up not the actual bridge part like like this one that part just the pillars so does it look natural no definitely not um, is it in use no it's still in testing so maybe it will be a benefit once it starts but for now it's just to me it's a money pit and others will agree as well but yeah I, I, I it just takes away from how natural Hawaii used to look minus the building stuff you know of course when I say natural people are like well Hawaii used to not have buildings and stuff and just be all green grass yeah but that's in the 1700s and 1800s and 1900s as well the, the US didn't come to Hawaii until like I think it was the 40s or if I'm not mistaken maybe maybe the the 20s or the 30s I know I gotta do my uh, history but yeah so we're not going to history lesson if anybody wants to chime in scoop me up cool I did I did some history on early Hawaii before but Kind of have CRS, so do mind me. <laughs> now this is gonna sound a little crazy. Don't get mad at me, viewers. But this would have been awesome. This is one big old roller coaster. I'm a, I'm a big theme park guy. I just haven't been to one in a while because uh, everywhere I've been, I haven't seen one or at least maybe make the drive because the closest theme park to me the last place I was at was like maybe a good three to five hour drive that's that's quite some drive now you get there pretty quick though to the out of one put the windows down but um, the wind noise would kill the audio I don't know if y'all saw that but just now there's a rail in motion it's that's it's not in use that's it, they're still testing it still you know going through the little motions but if y'all cap if y'all caught that I saw from the corner of my eye and video caught it. But. Is it turning up this one? Oh, yeah, it opened. But it's a little pricey. Stop by with the good old 7 Eleven. I don't know, just rambling about a fish market that I like going to. It's a little pricey, but the price comes with quality. sound that you heard on the Fast and Furious and the Green Eclipse. Now that that was all just sound. It wasn't real because the engine was non-turbo. But that is 
I've had a Grady Type S on uh, a few cars I've had coming up, and that is one of the best sounding blow-up valves. It just sucks that that blow-up valve is, you have to re replace the diaphragm because it likes to rip, depending on how much push you make. Alright, so I'm not sure if I had to go right, but I got a feeling that I think I was supposed to go right. here as well like every other city but uh, each city has what they're known for one's a pretty nice view too I mean hell all of Hawaii is nice views but it's very mountainous there or well yeah it's very mountainous there so Did those bikes come back I hear bikes but I'm not sure Different group though. 
guys had, like like I said, the Moto GP gear on, and they were taking some some, some mean angles on that turn, or the coming onto the on ramp. I miss riding. I tell you that. I used to have a R6, and then I had a, a old FZR 600 Yamaha. And that thing was heavy. That was like the old school Terminators. If y'all ever seen, y'all follow Terminator. And the move said that the the old ones were huge and heavy. And that's what I could describe the bike as. And then when I got the R6, that was like, you know, the, the newest model, just slim, and it was it was just perfect. Yamaha was of course carbureted so it had that big old tank on there and it was that was just a heavy bike a little, little quick story I rode it through North Shore this thing was like maybe 2009 just got back from deployment and I uh, made a turn it was a really sharp turn and I couldn't I couldn't turn good enough I ended up um, falling off the bike I had to have a buddy help me because the bike was just too heavy to lift up. So I haven't ridden since I left in 2011, and uh, it's been a while now. Probably have, I, not probably I will and would have to go back to motorcycle safety course and all that. But yeah, we'll see if I I do get on a bike. I'm gonna start small. I'm not gonna go crazy. A, a 1000 I'm just gonna probably get a uh, what are those things called uh, the Honda Groms I think those are one of the coolest looking bikes ever and it's not too much power it's just you know nice for cruising do mind this shade is from the rail once I go up a little bit more there will be less shade that way y'all can see a little bit better Those are turbo. I heard they're pretty quick too.
Bernie's got his hat now. I gotta, gotta look. I think it's down there. Darn it. Just come down here. Maybe I can go this way. So, this is Fort Island. Have to turn around over here. It is down more. I screwed that all up. Too late now. I just made it. Good old 57 Drive Arizona Memorial. ETI's here. Cars and coffee's here. All right, stay tuned.